Today I'll be giving you the rundown on every single Bundesliga team. It took me ages to write the script for this video, this time it's 9 pages long, so I'd really appreciate you dropping a like and subscribing if you want to see more career mode content like this. If you'd like to go further, please consider becoming a channel member where you can actually vote on future league guides that I'll make. But anyway, let's get straight into our teams, starting with FC Augsburg. Compared to the majority of Bundesliga teams, Augsburg is a very unique career mode save. With American investor David S. Blitzer recently funding the £15 million move of Ricardo Pepe, there is potential for a number of other high potential North Americans heading to Bavaria. If you'd prefer to keep the squad more homegrown, then Augsburg also has a history of giving big name players their first chances, including two German legends in Bernd Schuster and Helmut Haller. The new investment from the American can either go into your youth academy or into new players, and that's what makes Augsburg such a good save in the Bundesliga. Like many other Bundesliga teams, Augsburg has a squad that includes a ton of interesting young players. Striker Ricardo Pepe that we mentioned before, and midfield duo Niklas Dorsch and Arnie Meyer are all players that will light up the Bundesliga in the near future. In the standard Augsburg 4-2-2-2 formation, there is room for Dorsch and Meyer to both start from the beginning, and if you choose to recall Pepe from his loan, there is a slot for him next to Florian Liedenegner up front. By default, Augsburg choose to play a very direct style. Their squad is suited to this with centre-backs who can pass, strikers who can head, and midfielders who can follow up second balls. One improvement could be signing Fenerbahce's Luan Perez, a left-footed centre-back who has good pace, good technique on the ball, and also pretty good defensive ability. He'd help you get the ball to your strikers pretty quick, and he would help you have a fun Augsburg FC save. Not only do they have one of the most FIFA-ready squads, but Leverkusen also have a new manager, Chabi Alonso. With their entire forward line having pace, agility and strength, there's not a single team who I think can overperform more than Leverkusen in your first FIFA season. Diaby, Schick and hudson Adoy can all easily become a European conquering front three, and all have the potential to become even better. The general squad is filled with pace and potential. You've got players like Hinkapi, Tapsoba, Tar, and Frimpong who can all reach the mid 80s when they peak. These are all their defenders as well, the entire back four has huge potential. The one area that Leverkusen could use some new players is in central midfield, with Demirbay and Andrich both approaching 30 years old. If Chabi Alonso does indeed look to strengthen the middle of his midfield, Ladislav Krejci at Sparta Prague or RB Salzburg's Nicholas Seewald could both be top replacements. Both have the stamina for Bayer Leverkusen's pressing game, both have potential to grow with the rest of the squad, and both can be picked up for less than half of your overall transfer budget. With so much potential, Leverkusen's first challenge is trying to win their first Bundesliga. The club have been runners-up on five occasions, including several last game week swings that saw the title head elsewhere. You should be able to do this within three seasons, allowing you to move to a different club if you prefer a different challenge at that point. Bayern Munich are in the middle of a rebuild, with players like Neuer and Muller most likely in their final few seasons. Musiala, Gravenberg and Mathis Tell all have potential to earn the Bavarian club another five Bundesliga titles, bringing their record-breaking team to almost 40 league wins. This chance at instant success, while playing with a huge budget and having a young, high-potential team, gives Bayern Munich the perfect mix for a fun career mode save. For years, Bayern Munich were famous for their 4-3-3 formation, with Robin and Ribery on the wings. Nowadays, Bayern play a narrow 4-2-2-2 formation, with Mane and Sane playing ahead of Muller and Musiala. At the other end of the pitch, the only real weak spot in the Bayern squad is at right back, a spot that Philipp Lahm dominated for almost two decades. Benjamin Pavard is the current first choice, but backup Nusser Mazraoui is actually the better player with even higher potential, so he should definitely go straight into your team. Any Bayern Munich save comes with the challenge of integrating their partial rebuild while also continuing with the big names that have brought them so much success in Bavaria. Will Neuer and Muller's generation be able to provide one last title before you replace them? Will Musiala, Gravenberch and Mathis Tell all be able to replicate their success? This is the real challenge of playing with the German giants. 
As one of the lowest budget teams in the entire Bundesliga, Bochum are under a unique pressure to find good players in unusual locations. One example of this is their midfielder, Jacek Goralski. As a free signing from the Kazakhstan First Division, his high aggression could be a key aspect of your low budget squad. As you progress throughout the save, keep an eye out for some bargains in some of FIFA's smallest leagues, although don't be afraid to sign players from anywhere in the world. Unfortunately for Bochum, with an average age of 30 years old, their starting 11 is the oldest in the Bundesliga by far. It's unlikely that any of the team's players under 25 years old will ever make it as Bundesliga quality players, so your task is to try and rejuvenate an old team while also keeping them in the Bundesliga. The overall team quality is good, however basically every position will need a younger replacement. Starting with the defence would be a good idea, as outside of Gamboa and Holtman there is a total lack of pace from your defensive players. The attacking situation is slightly better, but it still needs new players immediately to stay in the Bundesliga. Any Bochum manager should be signing as many young players as they can, from minor leagues, for as little money as possible. The Bochum kits are some of the nicest in the game, but with this many players needing replacing, you'll be able to see this kit in the new signing animation at least 5 times for each of the first 3 transfer windows. Integrating this many players might be difficult, but Bochum have a unique story and hopefully you'll have a fun save with the team. Newly promoted Werder Bremen are running on one of the smallest budgets in the entire Bundesliga. With a focus on signing young and free players, you'll have a totally unique FIFA career mode experience compared to some of the bigger spending Bundesliga sides. Werder Bremen have been known for their attacking style of play for over a decade now. While the likes of Diego, Meza Ozil and Marco Marin no longer play for Bremen, Fulkrug and Deutsch have carried on this attacking tradition. With 39 league goals between them last year, they started off this season in a similar way with over 10 goals from their first 9 matches. As two of the strongest players in the squad ability wise, Bremen will probably not need to invest in the attacking area. Instead a new defensive midfielder to replace the fairly slow and old Christian Gross would be a wise addition. A player that I think Bremen should definitely look at is Nigerian midfielder who plays for Club Bruges, Raphael Onyedeka. He could be picked up for such a small fee and would greatly improve your defensive midfielder position. As long as the goals keep flowing for Werder Bremen, the fans will appreciate just staying in the league. And staying in the league should definitely be your first season one goal. Depending on your signings, Werder Bremen either start the 2022 season as the second or third worst team in the league. Smart signings could see Bremen join the Hertha, Augsburg and Stuttgart tier of teams that manage to survive every single year. Progress towards the top half of the Bundesliga might be difficult, but with their strong youth academy, Bremen potentially could return finally to European football. There was a period of time in the early 2010s when it seemed like Borussia Dortmund was everyone in the UK's second favourite team. The high octane football, the unique yellow kits and the fun squad all combined into a powerful force of football. While some of the Dortmund hype has now died down in the UK, the squad is in its best state for a long time. The squad has 11 players with 85 or more potential, meaning anyone taking over last year's Bundesliga runners up could be looking at a golden generation. This level of talent is almost unheard of and that's what makes Dortmund such a fun career mode save. Borussia Dortmund's squad is extremely strong, with only Bayern Munich having better players on average in Germany. Surprisingly, despite having Adeyemi, Mukoko and Marlon to choose from, Anthony Modeste is currently the starting striker for the Yellows. Sebastian Haller will hopefully return from his illness before the end of the season, but the attack probably can't be called a weakness despite being the weakest area of the squad. Pouring as much time as possible into Mukoko would probably be the wisest decision, but combining him and Adeyemi is a potential world-class strike partnership. The one weakness in the Dortmund squad is probably their right back issue. Lukas Piszczek was the long term option here, but with his retirement a few years ago, Thomas Munier has been first choice. While their previous signing Hakimi might be beyond reach now, a fullback of his quality is needed at Dortmund. 
If you can get him, there's no surprise that you could be aiming at back-to-back -back titles just like in 2011 and 2012. It's now been 10 years since Dortmund won the Bundesliga, so your goal and your challenge is simple. Do whatever it takes to get a ninth German title. If you can keep the world leading young players coming into your academy, selling them at their peak can fund yet another golden generation, and hopefully a second era of Dortmund appreciation all across Europe. When it comes to Bundesliga career modes, Gladbach are probably one of the most underrated teams. They have everything the more popular choices have. They've got players with high potential, they've got an 86 rated player, they've got a good budget, and they've got some of Germany's most impressive history. In fact, between 1969 and 1977, Gladbach won five Bundesligas, they were runners-up in the Champions League, and they've won what is now known as the Europa League twice, a period of dominance that any team in Europe would love to have in their history. Trying to recreate this magic is exactly why this career mode save is one of the most fun ones you can do in the Bundesliga. The squad is full of young and high potential players. Midfielder Emmanuel Kone has elite potential. Neuhaus and Netz are both potential German national team players. And Marcus Thuram looks as though he's finally hitting the peak of his powers. This combination of players will definitely help you get towards those top three teams of Dortmund, Leipzig and Munich. With a few more additions, you could possibly even overtake them and become the best club in Germany once again. It's up to you if you keep Gladbach's slow, patient build-up game. It definitely suits some of their slower players, such as their key attacking midfielder, Lars Stindl. Striker Marcus Thuram is a good enough striker to finish chances no matter if you provide them on the counter or through possession. And the rest of the squad is more than capable of playing in any style you want to pick. So it's totally up to you how your Gladbach will play on the pitch. For strengthening, have a look at some young players who can grow with your ambitions and that should absolutely be the priority in every single transfer you make. The first challenge with Gladbach is trying to return to the Champions League. 2020 was their last appearance in the competition and the money they raised from this appearance has helped fund their current squad. Any further improvements you want to make can definitely be funded by a deep run into Europe. As one of the Bundesliga's founding members, Frankfurt have a long and successful history. Despite only winning the Bundesliga once, Frankfurt did manage to win the Europa League in both 1980 and last year in 2022, while also being Champions League runners-up in 1960. As a team from Germany's fifth largest city, there's a huge amount of potential as a club to improve and become one of Germany's top four teams. This is a chance to develop a team in your own way, and that's what makes Frankfurt the ideal upper mid-table team to push for Europe and try and do a long career mode save with. Frankfurt begin with one of the youngest Bundesliga squads. Fringe players such as Jesper Lindstrom and Ansgar Nauf have the potential to force their way into the starting 11 by the end of the first season. And that's the exact kind of high potential signing that Frankfurt regularly try to acquire. With the fifth best squad in their FIFA league, the fast flowing and high pressing style of football suits the squad down to the ground. Goalkeeper Kevin Trapp was ranked higher in the Lev Yashin trophy recently than Manuel Neuer, so his performances are a huge part of why Frankfurt might be able to get Champions League qualification. World Cup winner Mario Goetze plays behind striker Kolo Mouani, and this is a combination that's sure to bring goals as well. Frankfurt's challenge is to try and qualify for this top four. Winning the competition might be out of question for at least three or four seasons, but as runners-up in 1960, there's definitely unfinished business to confirm Eintracht Frankfurt as the best team in Europe. This will be a long save, but the progress will be even better when you finally see Eintracht Frankfurt lifting the Champions League trophy. Loyalty is a key theme all around the SC Freiburg squad. They're a team that set out to develop young German players while also being very loyal to their manager. Their manager's actually been in charge for the longest time in any Bundesliga team, and the second longest in the entire country of Germany. Last year, Freiburg managed to get to the DFB Pokal final, but they lost it on penalties. The board's loyalty does extend to the playing staff. Freiburg never stand in the way of a young player, especially if they get a good offer from another club. For example, have a look at Nico Schlotterbeck's transfer last season to Dortmund. If you try and implement this ethos into your career mode save, don't stand in the way of your young players, you can have a really interesting and fun save on career mode. 
When Freiburg makes transfers, they always make sure they perfectly fit into the playing system. This makes choosing a system even more important in your first pre-season. By default, the Brezigal Brazilians play a patient possession game. However, it is very important that whatever style you go for, you need to play attractive football. As their nickname suggests, they do like to play like Brazil, and they're not into that kind of park the bus style of football. This season, 10 of their 14 league goals in the league were scored by new signings. Beyond making sure you're not going to sell club legends like Christian Gunter or Nicholas Chico Hoffler, the areas you improve are up to you. If you're looking for new young players, seriously consider looking at Freiburg's second team that can be found in the three Liga. This second team has really good players, Bauer, Engelhardt and Schmidt all have potential to be Bundesliga talents, but make sure plenty of game time goes to players like Kilian Sildilla, Kevin Schader and Hugo Sique, who are all currently in your initial squad. Bringing through youth players is a key part of what Freiburg want to do, so you're going to have to continue bringing them through from Germany and neighbouring countries while also start bringing silverware back to Freiburg. If you can bring some trophies finally back, they won't regret that they've never won a Bundesliga and that miss on their German League Cup final last year might finally fade from memory. If any team is in need of a strong manager to take control, it has to be Hertha Berlin. You'll be taking over a team with a history of bouncing around the German top flight. It's never quite certain where Hertha will finish. Some years their top 6 level squad will finish in 17th, while other years their squad will seem destined for relegation, yet will manage to get European football. Most of the Berlin squad is firmly under 30 years old, but the majority are approaching their prime in the next two seasons. Most of the players have been signed from teams that actually ended up getting relegated, and this can be shown by the general lack of talent throughout the squad. This almost led to Hertha Berlin being relegated last season, but a promotion playout win saw them scrape another year in the Bundesliga. There's definitely plenty of room for a Hertha Berlin manager to strengthen the squad, depending on how they approach the game. Hertha usually run either a 4-1-4-1, a 4-4-2, or even a 4-3-2-1 formation depending on their opponent. They do have quite a disjointed backline, where one of their centre-backs is probably more suited to playing in midfield, but the squad has very few options in this area. This is the most obvious area to strengthen, but you should also use some of your big budget to strengthen at both defence midfield and at striker. Any Hertha Berlin manager should be focused on getting the capital city club cemented into the Bundesliga to begin with. Relegation has a serious threat of ruining such a big club. With the huge amount of potential Hertha have with their capital city base, seasons in the second Bundesliga would be a massive waste of talent, money and time. When you think of a road to glory on FIFA, a club like Hoffenheim might not come to mind. However, this club found themselves in the 5th division as recently as the year 2000, and in 8 seasons they managed to get promoted 4 times and found themselves in the Bundesliga. Only 10 years later, they were playing in the Champions League, and this is all thanks to their owner Dietmar Hopp. As one of the original controversial teams in the Bundesliga before Leipzig took that title away from them, Hoffenheim actually have the potential to be a pretty interesting career mode save. While they do have a fairly decent budget and a nice team, they do have some very cool interesting players. Oliver Baumann in goal is 83 rated to so one of the best German goalkeepers in the game. Andre Karamic up front has managed to get a ton of goals for Hoffenheim over the last 5 years. And new signing Angelino is one of the best wingbacks in the entire game. This combination of players along with good young players like Rutter, Baumgartner and Bischoff means you could actually have a nice generation of players coming through and giving something back to the German football system. If you can focus a lot more money into your youth academy and maybe try and build your squad up that way, you might be a less hated squad. If you're looking to strengthen the squad, have a look to see if you can maybe sign a backup striker with a bit of strength. They did nearly sign John Cordoba from Russia in real life, but he's no longer on FIFA. So have a look at players like Wilfried Notto, Adamo from Salzburg, and maybe some other young German players to try and fill this gap. The challenge with Hoffenheim is to try and recreate that season where they qualified for the Champions League. Last year they didn't do quite so well finishing 9th from 18, so their squad isn't quite at its full strength. Why don't you see if you can make Germany's second most hated squad 
be one of the best yet again. While winning the league might be a bit far off for this team, going into the Champions League yet again could be a nice way for Dietmar Hopp to finish off his investment. FC Köln have slowly risen up the German pyramid over the past five years, and they're at a key point in their rise to the top. Any new managers should try and keep this momentum going, because there is actually the chance of Champions League qualification in season one already. As Köln proudly say, they are the fourth most supported team in Germany, so should they qualify for the Champions League, the club could easily rise to rival Leipzig and Dortmund to be the second best team in the country. This results in one of the most fun German career modes in FIFA 23. The Köln squad is one of the youngest in the Bundesliga. With only three players over 30, there is a decent amount of quality in almost every single position. After Anthony Modeste departed for Dortmund, it's probably clear that Stefan Tigers is not quite good enough for the Bundesliga. A direct replacement for Modeste could be someone like Simon Banzer at Braga or Thierry Ambrose at Ustende. Köln have a fluid style of play, often lining up with a 4-1-3-2 or a 4-2-3-1 formation depending on their opponent. A tall strong presence is always key up front because they do play a long ball style. The squad could easily pivot and play a more possession focused game, but the majority of your first signings should be attacking focused because Hubers and Kilian will be almost perfect FIFA centre backs. Köln were one of Germany's greatest sides in the 1950s until the early 1990s. The challenge with Köln is to try and rebuild their squad, get them fighting for titles once again. It shouldn't take you more than two or three seasons to get Köln into the top four, but overcoming the endless money of Bayern Munich could probably take you until season five, depending on how well you can perform in the transfer market. As one of the most controversial teams in the Bundesliga, a Red Bull saves means you'll be rival to almost every team in Germany. If being everyone's enemy is your kind of save, then why not play as the Bundesliga's East German villains? Despite being almost universally hated by all Germans, RB Leipzig actually are one of the most fun career mode saves. With players like Timo Werner now playing on the wing, Christian Nkunku playing in behind Andre Silva and Dominic Soboschlei playing on the wing, it could be a super interesting attacking young combination of players. At the back they've got one of the young players of the season, Josep Gvardiol, and Willy Orban has been a regular for Leipzig for years and years. On paper, the two weak spots in the team are both at defensive midfield. However, Campbell and Schlager both have a lot of chemistry together, both being Austrian and both being national team players. And Campbell has a very unique, interesting stat distribution if you're interested in playing a deep lying playmaker. If you want an interesting challenge as Leipzig, why not see if you can win the first German title for them? They've risen up the leagues, not quite as fast as Hoffenheim, but not far off, and maybe you can finally win a Bundesliga title with an East German team, something that no team since Dynamo Dresden has done back when East Germany had its own competition in 1990. Almost every single season since 1970, Mainz have improved. The past decade has seen the side cement themselves firmly as Bundesliga regulars, despite being a third tier regular as recently as 1991. The prospect of continuing this progression makes Mainz a super interesting career mode save. With their 8th place finish last season, they narrowly missed out on European football, and that has to be the goal for the West German side. After giving Jurgen Klopp and Thomas Tuchel their first jobs, will you be the next manager to revolutionise Mainz? The Mainz squad is one of the youngest in the Bundesliga and it contains some top young talents, including young striker Jonathan Burkhardt and massive midfielder Anton Stach, who will both be influential in your starting squad. Mainz play with three tall centre-backs, who are all crucial for defensive stability. However, Bell, Widmer and Hack are all 30, 29 and 28 years old respectively, so it might be good to sign at least one centre-back under 25 who can be developed in Season 1. Nicholas Tower is one homegrown option, with him already playing for the Mainz youth team, but Austrian Kevin Danso from Lon is a potential player you can look to sign straight away. Mainz have never won the Bundesliga or the DFP Pokal, this is quite disappointing for a region as populated as the Rhine-Main, but their best ever finish saw them play in Europe. 
Mines have never actually made it to the Champions League, so your challenge is to try and win a trophy in the first two to three seasons while making your way towards that first season as a Champions League team. Last year's second Bundesliga champions are finally back in the top division. If you want a long and difficult fun career mode save, Schalke is perfect for you. With Schalke's limited funds, you have to compete to stay in the Bundesliga and try and rebuild your squad. The most recent Schalke transfers have either been loans, free transfers, or really cheap deals. In fact, the most they've spent for two seasons is 1.8 million on a single player. Essentially, you have the challenge to compete in the first division while having the same budget that you would expect in the EFL League One or maybe a very low-rated championship team. Schalke's transfers in recent times have consisted mainly of players from the second division, Austria and Belgium. Specifically, you need to look for players who are cheap but still decent, who are being underutilised by their current team, maybe not enough game time, who are underrated or are looking extremely promising. Usually, Schalke has taken players on loan from the Premier League, La Liga or Ligue 1, so that's another three leagues you can look at. Again, try and look for players with not a lot of game time, maybe some good young prospects or maybe some underrated players who have stats in key areas. Schalke have been alternating between a 4-2-3-1 and a 4-4-2 formation. With the current manager's attacking style of play being fast and very direct, he's also said he wants his team to be courageous when off the ball. This results in a high press and a high press after heavy touch. His team isn't that much of a possession-based side, so move the ball as fast as you can towards the other team's goal. With Schalke facing tough times financially, they've let key players walk away on cheap deals or on free transfers, while having to replace these key players with whatever little funds they can raise. While you're performing on your low budget, you should try and rebuild while staying in the Bundesliga, before eventually trying to progress further up the table towards mid-table stability. Now in their third season of consecutive top flight football, VFB Stuttgart are another interesting team full of young high potential players. Like a lot of teams in the Bundesliga, there is a lot of money ball style play going on with VFB Stuttgart behind the scenes. Quite often a lot of young players will come in, play two or three seasons and then be sold to a bigger league. You can see this with Mangala and Kalajdzic who both joined the Premier League for a combined 31 million euros the past transfer window. These kind of deals are why Stuttgart can stay in the league for as long as they can and they're going to be a key part of any career mode you play with Stuttgart. Whenever you need a new player, you should check out a minor league, so check out maybe Holland, Belgium, Austria and Switzerland and see if the player you need can be found in any of these teams. Even if they're lower rating than you might normally accept, you can then raise them up and then sell them for a lot more money than you bought them from. This will then let you invest more money into your youth academy. This will continue snowballing and hopefully VFB Stuttgart can continue playing in the Bundesliga for a long time to come. Stuttgart were one of the last champions that isn't called Bayern Munich or Borussia Dortmund, winning the Bundesliga as recently as 2007. So trying to progress towards another title is definitely the challenge here. They also managed to be runners-up in the UEFA Cup in 1989, the competition that is now known as the Europa League. Qualifying for this through the Cup or the League could be a good challenge for your first couple of seasons before you manage to progress into the Champions League. No one expected a team like Union Berlin to have a 5-point lead in the Bundesliga after 11 games, but that's exactly what the Iron Union have done early this season. The closest you'll get to a Leicester 2016 style squad, this is definitely my favourite save in the entire league. A squad of underrated players who all work perfectly as a team, while you might not win the Bundesliga in your first season, you're guaranteed to grow attached to these underdogs and keep most of them around for the entire save. The fans are also a unique bunch too. Their stadium is in the middle of a Berlin forest and saw over 10,000 people line up to sell their own blood to try and keep the team alive only 15 years ago. If anyone deserves success, it's going to be Berlin's best fan base. The Union Berlin squad is only the 12th best in the league, comparing every team's average rating of player. Despite this, the team is perfectly set up for a counter-attack style of play, with almost every defensive player having at least 85 stamina, a target man paired with a 95 sprint speed striker, 
you're going to be moving the ball forward as fast as you can. You could possibly improve by getting a slightly faster target man, maybe someone like KRC Genk's Paul Onuachu. He could offer more, but it's not an area that's desperately weak. Union Berlin runs harder and fights harder than any other team in the Bundesliga. Their counter-attack is disciplined and precise, and their defense loves to win the ball high up the pitch. Keeping this style of play is key to getting the most out of the Berliner's squad. Every player you sign must fit this style, with stamina, speed and aggression all being key to the way that Union play. While winning the league might be an extreme first season challenge, Union Berlin missed out on Champions League football by just one point in the 2021-2 season. For a team that spent 2007 in the 4th division, this would be an incredible rise to glory. Focus everything you have on getting that 4th place finish, and bring some of Europe's biggest teams to your forest kingdom. It's a well known fact that German football has a 50 plus 1 rule. In short, no one owner can own the entire football club. At least half and a little bit more needs to be owned up by other owners or by other fan groups. However, thanks to being the original Volkswagen employee team, Wolfsburg are actually fully owned by the giant car manufacturer, a truly unique situation in the Bundesliga. This results in big investment, with the team constantly changing shape depending on the preferred style of the current manager. There is a negative style to this ownership though, Wolfsburg's 2016 off-field woes did cause the last great Wolfsburg squad to be disbanded, with De Bruyne and Perisic leaving and their new youth academy buildings being cancelled. Despite their big money owners, Wolfsburg are a team in constant state of rebuilding. Arnold, Bornau and Mecha are three that should be safe and in any manager's plans. Arnold is a fan favourite centre midfielder, while Van Veen, Lacroix and Bornau could combine into an unstoppable rapid back three. While progressing towards Europe, you should seriously try and consider breaking Eden Zeko's 66 goal record, which currently stands as the most goals scored by any Wolfsburg player ever. Lucas Emecha already has 11, so he's only 55 goals away from being a Wolfsburg legend. For the club, you'll need to try and get it back to the Champions League after a year away from the competition in 2023 to 2023. Hopefully you've all enjoyed today's video and if you did manage to watch all 33 minutes of it so far, thank you so much. I really do appreciate and like I said at the start, please do consider subscribing, liking the video and if you have a bit of spare money, maybe even becoming a channel member so you can vote on the next video coming out probably in around one or two weeks. But thank you all for watching, I'll see you soon for another video. Like the video, leave comments if I got anything wrong, and I'll see you soon for another video. Thank you, and goodbye.